and, and often do come from very unexpected sources. Um, and that is essentially what is driving our open source approach and why we believe that it makes us unique and different in the marketplace. So, it could beg the question, why do we believe that the time is right to, to launch a, media, a new media agency? And why do we believe that open source is the way to launch it? Um, it's a very cluttered marketplace, um, so it could be a, a question, you know, why, why do we think that the time is right? And there's one very clear answer to that, and it's because it's what our clients have been telling us that they need. Um, we've listened very, very closely to our clients over the, the, the past year or two of the, the creation of this, this network. And we've heard a number of things and a number of recurrent themes. The first is something that we all know very well, that technology is transforming all business. Um, it's transforming our clients' business and it's transforming our business. But what we're hearing from our clients is that they're not confident that the way that agencies are currently structured are structured in a way that offers the agility that's necessary um, to take advantage of the changes that they're seeing in their businesses from technology. The second thing that we heard, the second was that in a world where they need their increasing numbers of agency partners to come together and work together more and to integrate better, they're seeing the opposite. Um, they're seeing that their agency partners are protecting their own territory and putting up walls rather than coming together and working more closely together. And the, the third thing that we've heard is that clients feel that there is a move away from real innovation from their agencies. Um, they're hearing a lot about automation, um, programmatic and technology-driven innovation. Um, but the thing that we've, we've heard is that there seems to be a lack in people-driven innovation and people-driven ideas. And it's these three themes that we believe are important to tackle and that we believe there's space for, for an agency with a different approach and the open source approach to tackle. So, how will we actually deliver this to our clients? Um, we already have a very well established and, and well used planning methodology which we call the open source planning methodology. But within that planning methodology, we also have a number of, of very interesting products that we, we take to our clients. The first, the Open Source Academy. Um, this is a commitment that we make to our clients to keep them current and educated. So the Open Source Academy um, is a collection of classes, lectures, videos, resources that we keep current and provide to our clients on an ongoing basis to make sure that they are current and educated in the ever-changing world that we work in. <coughs> the centre of the open source methodology for planning is the open source hack. Um, now, these are sessions that we run for our clients where we take responsibility to bring together all of the agency partners to work together to crack our clients' business issues. Sometimes these can be a day, they can be two days, three days, whatever is required for our clients to, to feel comfortable that we've helped them solve their business issues. A great example of this was um, a global hack that we ran two months ago for Puma, um, one of our founding global clients, where we had sessions at the, on the same day in New York, um, London, and also in Hong Kong, where we had three separate teams working on a hack basis, cracking the same <coughs> business issues, and then at the end of the process, those three teams came together to compare notes and to see, in an interesting way, how we'd come up with new solutions for Puma. The Open Co-Create is a way that we're looking to change the way that we work with media owners. The usual way that we work with media owners is we send them a brief, they send us an idea, and for the media owner, that's, that's usually the end of it. Um, the Open Co-Create will be different. So we'll be making commitments to our, our media agents and media owner partners that they will be involved in the process from the beginning to the end. So we'll come up with ideas with our media owner partners and those media owner partners will come along and, and work with the client. So the media owner partners will be involved from the beginning to the end. So we're confident, we've already seen that, that working in this way, the ideas that we get back from our partners 
but made your own is much, much stronger. And the, the, the final part of the process that I want to talk a little bit about, which um, I think is the thing that really embodies the, the spirit of open source and the way that we want to work, is the Blue Collective. Um, the Blue Collective is a group of people that we have already set up in markets where we've launched, um, and it's a group of people that we will set up in the next few months in Spain. And this group of people are a very diverse group of people. They might be agencies or they might be individuals. Um, they could be futurologists, they could be data scientists, they could be ethnographers. Um, essentially, they're a group of people that we can rely on to help us tackle our clients' issues from an innovative angle. Um, what I want to play now is it's a very UK focused video about how we've set up the Blue Collective in, in the UK. It is kind of quite UK focused, but I think it, it, it really demonstrates well how we see the Blue Collective working and contributing to this open source process.